Good afternoon, young adventurers. My name is James. Today, this, on this glorious day out in these woods, I'm going to be teaching you the wonderful art of tracking. Today, on this flat land right here, around here, we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you what would be a good terrain for tracking. For instance, bobcats and coyotes are at, have been reported in these areas for many, many years. Now, if you follow me, we'll look for the signs of what we should be looking of the animals. Today, the first animal we're going to be looking for is coyotes. Now, one thing I've learned over the years about coyotes is that they are deceivingly quick and cunning. If you don't watch out, they'll get you. Well, three signs actually for coyotes. Hair, tracks, and scat. Now, in this tall grass right here would be the worst place to meet a coyote because you couldn't know where they're coming from. Now, follow me and let's try to find some hair. Place some seed tracks in the wet grass where you know that they've been around. Because we got a water source over here, plenty of food around these parts. So this area would be a good stomping ground for the coyotes. Now as of right now I don't see any tracks, but who knows along the way we might see some. Alright, next animal we're gonna be looking for today is bobcats. Now one thing about bobcats from a distance, they look like everyday felines. But when they get closer you can see they ain't normal felines. Now a good habitat for bobcats would be up in the trees on these low low lane, uh, lane branches where they have plenty of cover and they can get the drop on you and also it's closer to uh, close to a good water source and there's a lot of and then when you come back there's a lot of food in these areas like deer squirrels rabbits now one thing looking at bobcat tracks is they look like oversized feline tracks but if you compare them they're about twice the size of a, no a household feline you never know when, to, you can never predict when a bobcat will show up and when it won't. For instance, right, right now in the middle of this, a bobcat could appear and eat all three of us. Never know. But that's why you got to keep a good ear out and keep your eyes peeled. One of the tracks we're going to be looking for is fur. If you find the fur, it may not be a bobcat, but we can probably determine what it's from by having it tested. It wasn't just too long ago that we actually heard bobcats around in these areas. It was late at night, about 12, midnight on Sunday. Got a couple of eyes glaring off in the trees. Told my partners, my colleagues, to back the hell up. Because we didn't want to be in their area. Because they are very territorial animals. So, especially a mother when it's young. Just all up. I think we might have Uh, just dog tracks. Now that recent attack I was telling you about happened back here in these woods. It was here we saw those two sets of yellow eyes. That's why I told my colleagues to freaking hurry the hell up and move like inglorious bastards. And get the hell out of Dodge before they come and gnaws on us and kills us. But then came back later that night, saw three sets of eyes and two sets of tracks. We left some bait out, let it sit there for about half an hour and came back. Came back, bait was gone. And around it was a set of tracks. Not bobcat, not coyote, and definitely not your normal dog. It was a little bit bigger than a coyote. It might have been a wolf, don't know. But all we know was the bait was gone and whatever it was was still lurking around out here. It was back here in this area where the wood we started hearing all sorts of crazy shit. We saw branches moving, twigs being snapped, growling, and eyes. That's when I told my colleagues, run like, run like cheap bastards and get to the fire. Because that fire is the only thing that's going to protect us. All right, thank you, young adventurers. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful day of learning the art of tracking. Until next time, this is James Cooksey signing off. Thanks, James. It's T.W. Filson here, guys. And I uh, just want to thank you. And uh, James is going to be a YouTube sensation. He's on the rise. Be looking for him. I was glad to have him in, the, in my video. And until then, T.W. Filson, over and out.